To the mighty Viking Emperor, or soon to be known as the Scandinavian Empire. Welcome back, everyone, to the legacy of the Viking. Yeah, everyone, we are back here in this day and age, and oh, that's kind of awesome, dude. Like they even this name even changes color. Oh, that's really awesome right there. Paradox, you guys did a good job on that. You guys did a good job. Anyways, um, right now we are not exactly where we were. In fact, we're about a year and. Three, two or three months where we were from last time um basically what happened is I did a gigantic time skip because I was you know trying to you know get closer and closer to where we would actually be able to form the great Scandinavian nation um and so I did some building I did some improvements I did this I did that you know I was thinking of doing a massive factory to get like my goods produced because this would be awesome to have you you guys would all agree with me or unique buildings or oh man, watching defense and this manpower increase, I'm gonna get this in my capital someday, <laughs> but, um, what I came to realize looking at the, uh, you know, forming nation after a while was that I needed a, a level 10 administrative tech, who would have known, I mean, I was, I'd seen other YouTubers, like, say, you know, you can't form anything until you get a level administration tech, but it didn't really click in my mind that it would also apply to my nation too, so, yeah, I just was like, oh no, you mean, I just kind of, I was sitting peacefully for the last couple of years for no reason? That's it. That doesn't sound good to me. I wanted to be at war with almost everyone. I mean, if I was, I'd be at war with the Liberian Order right now. I mean, they have basically no alliances that would be very strong for them, and honestly, would I not, would it not be easy just to go in and go take all these guys over? By the way, you guys still... Truce with the Rain, yeah, okay. I could go to war with these guys and just instantly take over their province and have a little bit of a good, good, uh, outpost over here, but I don't think I will. Anyways, um, yeah, guys. It's just that kind of thinking that I, that, that kind of, like, blew my mind. I was like, oh, shoot, yeah, I can't do this yet. So, you know, I decided to halt my time skip here when I realized it, and we're just gonna go from here and see what happens, because now since I can free up my Diplos, I'm gonna start getting some cores, man. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm back in the Congress mode. And apparently I discovered the Timurids. That's good. That's good to note. And we, well, we've just discovered. Comparatively, we have not discovered that much. Like, we've only just barely scratched the surface of the world, which is, you know, kind of crazy in my mind. Okay, can we rapidly scroll in? Scroll, 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 scroll. There we go. Alright, let's get back to this. So right now our empire is basically sitting on a very nice position. Um, I've maximized all of my manpower in terms of land. And I finally realized how to do this. Okay guys, if you were just as lost as me or if you were just telling me in the comment section about how to do this. I realized it finally. You just need to click on the icon and it'll give you what you want. And really, only the offense, I only need this one. This is the one I desperately need. Because, well, yeah, I'm a very offensive person, leader flair, I mean, some of these other things are also good, like the force limits I might also want to get, but this one is the one I really, really want, because to make sure that our manpower stays at an all-time high will be grand. It'll help us out a lot, so, yeah. Alright, anyways, um, let's see, I think I have a truce with them still. Sweden, yeah. Let's see, and all of our former people hate us. So we're basically going to have to form a new alliance with someone. And I what I also, let's see, you guys are outraged with us. Same religion, enemy of enemy, has a claim, has a cause of spell eye. Hmm. Aggressive expansion, ah. We have to wait for that aggressive border friction. Alright. Well, what I'm going to do, guys, the coalition against Sweden. <laughs> Oh wow, you guys are in a coalition against me. I didn't even realize it. You guys are so sad. I didn't even realize you guys are important to this game. Um, but yeah, what I think I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to start expanding next to me. And the first place I'm going to expand to is Hodenstein. But I'm not going to do it by the usual means. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it by the 
peaceful and kind of really less fun way. But this is for those people that really want me to be more diplomatic and more kind of, you know, conservative. Well, not really conservative, but nice. So I'm just going to do that very calmly. We're just going to kindly integrate. This is going to be a social experiment. We're going to see if we can kindly integrate Hodenstein into our empire without going to full out all chaos war. Okay? Well, also, Novgrad hates us. Muscovy also hates us. I'm not even going to try to get them. Also, um, what we might also try to do is also get an alliance with the Ottomans. The Ottomans, I mean, could become BFFs, but the only problem is that they don't have any borderline with Muscovy, which could be difficult. So that almost leads me to conclude that we need to... Yeah, let's just... You know what we should do, guys? Honestly, we should get our alliance back with Lithuania, because they were... They are our best buds. And you know what? Honestly, there will be a lot of people... There will be a lot of nations in my life, but... Lithuania, they are buddies. They have our royal blood in them. So, yeah. I think I'm going to keep with our royal buddies, but... We're going to see if we can peacefully get Hodenstein into our empire. And if that all fails, everyone, we know that I'm just going to go to war and go kill their buds. So... <laughs> Oh, great days ahead. And apparently the defender of the faith is Lithuania. My buddies. And apparently somebody just tried a rebellion. Right. Okay. Ultra cool rebel stopping force. Go! Yeah! I should really name this the altar. With Frederick Augustus Lemput. I don't remember... Oh, dang. I don't remember if he's our very first general or not. I don't think he is. I think he's our second general. But this guy, very important leader. He has led us through many great battles. And I'm glad that he was in our army. Yep. Okay, so half is about good to keep rebels out of the way. That's what I was really wanting to know. Relations has been maximized. Ooh. I didn't realize I maxed out my relations so quickly. Okay, our diplomatics people. Okay, so if I maximized relationships with them so quickly, that means maybe we should work on other people. England. Would England be a good ally? Well, I'm not going to be expanding anytime soon to England. So, and the Navy would be a definite boost. What about France? <laughs> Actually, to be honest with you, if we were going to get a powerful army, powerful nation, France would be different. Oh, Hesse. Hesse hates us though. And we kind of hate Hesse. It's kind of like this. Eh. We could try. Maybe I could get a royal marriage out of it. We'll see. Anyways. Moving on, moving on from the year of when I was the rat. Okay, anyways, we have another opportunity to build stuff. Um, as you guys know, I like to build basic buildings, and one of the one training fields would be really nice. Um, but what I like to build is marketplaces and different kind of economic stuff. Build it right there. Oh, I built two, sadly. Whoops. I very in order to declare war upon the new enemy Novgorod. Oh no! Oh no! I very in order. Oh my goodness, you guys hate me so much. <laughs> it's kind of sad, but you guys really do hate me, and I'm I'm sorry to you guys too. And military level eight. Dang. I think I don't know if we're ahead of the curve or front of the curve. I'm gonna check that out right now. Let's see, we are... Actually, I think we're ahead of the curve. Like, we're slightly ahead of the curve, which is a good sign to see. And I can't pull a dry dock, which makes me kind of worried. Um, what do we want, though? Early rampart. Missionary strength. Uh, well, we do do a lot of conversions. Uh, no. I don't want to build that, actually. Let's get some local tax modifiers. Let's get into this little island right here. Actually, we should build it right there. I just remembered because that is our main capital. <gasps> Odenstein is left the coalition. They are finally understand to be posed. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a little bit untrue. I'm stretching the truth just a little bit. And I got noble customs. Yay, my lag is really bad now. Like, that is really severely bad lag. Oh, and then those guys. Those guys spawned. And they're actually winning. I'm going to have to reverse that. And we're making a lot of money, though. Making a lot of dough money. Come on, guys. Oh, you guys stink. Oh, they don't have a cannon. No wonder why they didn't win. Shoot, they need a cannon in their army. Okay, let's hope that they will do something. Oh, shoot. They only became... 
Okay, well, my 15,000 good guys are going to go hunt down and go kill them. That's good. That's good. All right, let's see. Idea time. Yay. Can I get more of this? No, I can't. So what do we want, guys? Well, since... Since we're probably... Let's see, what do I want? Do I want some diplomatic, free trade, trade ideals? Trade ideals is iffy. It's like meh. It's not really, like, great. Expansion ideas. Additional colonists. Additional merchants. Hmm. See, I think this would be if you already have your colonies established. We don't really have our colonies established. So I don't really want to choose that. But I think we should go with something Diplo. Um, I think exploration is going to be what we want to do. We've unlocked the exploration ideals. Huzzah! Huzzah! And if I can, as soon as I can, I'm going to try to get quests for a new world. And from here, we're going to go then go try to discover America! Yippee! Because I'm in... Okay, yes. Use my Diplo power to do that. Colonial bonus. So now we get colonists, I think. We're now starting to get colonists. Yippee! Colonial Ventures neighbors to send us more colonists on our lands. Quest for a new world. Alright, so I need a little bit more power to do that. My men should be able to go kill off these guys. Um, I'm... Okay, you guys are going straight to Copenhagen. And also, another thing I realized, guys, is I finally realized how to rename stuff. So watch this. This is going to be named New... Wait. New... Anno. Where is our capital? Stockholm. Stockholm. New Stockholm. And yes. Oh shoot, I forgot to put enter. Dang. But yeah, that's the way if you guys wanna know if you guys if you guys ever have wondered about how to switch names in this game, this is how to switch names in the game. You just have to click on the province and then just change it. Which I'm gonna be naming a lot of things in in uh America, just all these funny things and probably just a lot of Mexican stuff too. Okay, enter. Enter. Space. Okay. Is it New Stockholm? Yes! It's New Stockholm! Yay! Our province is New Stockholm. So that's New Stockholm, everyone. It's the New Stockholm to Old Stockholm. But yeah. That's how you rename provinces and that's how you can... Like, seriously, seriously make some really funny things. Like, I could just completely and utterly Americanized almost all of Sweden. <laughs> Even though we are the country of Sweden, we could be like, I can make, um, I could make new Albuquerque right here, new Dakota, new landmark, and then just maybe undies over here, I don't know. <laughs> just, I can make this, I can do a lot of terrible things with this whole entire naming system, but it's kind of cool that way. I kind of like that. It's, I think it's a nice mechanic, you know, it kind of gives you more free reign of your colonies, makes you, you know, provinces do matter, but it kind of shows that, you know, provinces don't really matter, because then that you can, this is really your empire, you customize it the way you want to be, and I kind of like that, I really do like that, so, you know, I'm a sucker for this, you can hire a free leader, zero leaders, oh no, oh great, I think our general died, oh great, what happened to him, it better not, Oh shoot, we have 29 out of 28. That's not good. We're slightly over our force limit. Don't really care. Don't think it affects me that much. Somebody's gonna probably tell me in the comment it affects me by a lot, but right now I don't know that. So I'm not gonna tell you guys. So yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's a cool these are all cool features that I'm slowly starting to figure out in the new EU4. And you know this game this game is definitely grown on me. Like it is gain of military engineer or Get a local defensiveness, I like that. That's these to the end of the game. An engineer only gives you like until a certain amount of time and then they're dead. My king must go be whatever. Alright, so let's get a new military advisor. I want to I think we need a more military cost. We need to make military costs a little bit less expensive. We can stop supporting our men so much. We're making so much money, it's kinda crazy. Probably because I'm doing such I'm being such a jerk about missionaries and expansion and destroying of culture. I mean we really we as we as Sweden just completely are not destroyed the 
the Sami culture. We did not like those guys at all. In fact, they were... Let me go to this map mode. In fact, the Sami culture was just... Oh, there's still a little bit of Sami left in the world. What the heck? I thought I killed them all. Ooh, enjoy your last moments for now. My province, new stars now consider... <laughs> Okay, okay, guys, if you can come up with any hilarious names in the comments, please do. I will definitely try to integrate them in, because now that I can, now that I remember how to do this, this is going to be such an abusive system. I'm just going to be like, okay, I'm going to name this, I'm going to name that. I oh, mean, now, if only you could name C's, that'd be nice. So I go over here to this C and name it like, oh, no, the Protestants have re- oh, great. So everyone, the Protestants have reformed. So that means we're soon going to start seeing lots and lots of um, crazy people pop up. But in Cornwall, it seems like it's... Protestants have... Oh, shoot. Regency... Wait, 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 wait. What? Regency? <gasps> no! Why did my king die? I, oh, shoot. And now I got Protestants. Oh, shoot. Okay, we have to convert that quickly, um, like, quickly, we, we don't have much time before that will become a big issue, uh, well, actually, wait, 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 what am I talking about? I'm not actually gonna be Catholic, it kinda stinks to be Catholic in this game, like, no offense to Catholics or anything to that, but it really does stink being Catholic in this game, okay, let me, wait, 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 wait. kick the boot, whoops, that, I probably just wasted a lot of, Thing. And I have really good military tradition, I just realized that. That's good. Too bad I had to just destroy some of it. And national decisions available. Anti-Piracy Act. Base relations over time. Well, that's pretty good. Let's do an anti-piracy act. Because I somehow don't want to do an anti-piracy things. And, yeah, but seriously though. The line neglect. What does it do? Improve colonial relations by granting your colonies a certain amount of self- No! No, 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 no. If we do that, then we give them basically the tools and means to start becoming their own independent nation. Which is something we don't want to do. We want to make sure they are underneath our iron fist boot, whatever you want to call it, forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. We don't want them to ever leave. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. Hodenstein is slowly becoming more and more friendly with us. Maybe we'll send him a gift too and see if that will help. Because I want to make sure that these guys are really, really happy with us. Because I want to see if I can integrate these guys peacefully. We have no diplos to send. Let's see, who are we influencing again? Prove relations with Hohenstein. Prove relations with Hessen. How are we doing with Hessen, by the way? Hessen just completely hates us now. I don't know why, but they just completely hate us. So I'm just going to drop my diplo from there. Yeah. Drop my Diplo, build up some more stuff, I build some more. Uh, level 2 is basically where I want to be in everywhere. Um, I seriously think I'm, no, I, I need to keep building small. Because the smaller you build, then over time everything will become much better for your buildings. So, but yeah. Um, right now we are at the maximum amount of stability boost, I'm not liking that. Boost this back up to 3. Should be getting more money that way. Okay, do we have any more unnecessary regionals? And dang, this kid's not as great as his father, but they tell us of events of religious still or possible since they went, I don't know, Cornwall. Why did you have to start this, Cornwall? You were the one who did this to us. I was, oh, shysta. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, why do I keep saying that? No, this is a good thing. Stop thinking of this as a bad thing, James. You're going to kill yourself. Just... Keep, let it happen. If we can slowly but surely convert every single one of these nations all to Protestantism, and since the, it's the Palpacy is actually pretty strong, we actually have a pretty good relationship with the Palpacy, but if we could definitely convert all these places to our, our Protestants' power, then we will have a grand old time. Like, we will be sitting pretty at the end of the world, guys. Now we can start building stuff over here too. Wow, that's so nice. Okay. Anyways, um diplomats. Okay. I think we just figured out as much relationships as we could. Send them a gift. Do you wish to send this will cost us? 
Oh, food violations. Wait, what? Why is, can't I send a gift? Oh, shoot, I just ran out of money. No wonder why. Okay, well, let's see. I'm pretty sure I cannot get a Oh, I can get a royal marriage, yes. Send royal marriage. And then they should offer the alliance. If everything goes right, they should offer the alliance. And since I'm not aggressively expanding for like a couple years, because I'm probably the next one I'm going to go to is going to try to take over this little island over here, because I actually do need it. Like, this is going to be my only goal, is to take over that island. Uh, let's see. Off an alliance, yes. Okay. Now that we got that, let's see. I need to figure out... I just need to figure out where is the offer vassalization. There it is. Right there. So, let's see. We have currently... To offer vassalization, you must 1. Have a war marriage, 2. Have a military alliance, 3. Have relations of at least 190. Four has the same religion and five of the target must be at peace. Dang it! Okay, so the only thing we're missing is that... 180 something... Mm, basically what we're missing guys is we're missing 190. Dang it. Okay, so that's the one part I did not have. Okay, so that's the one part I did not have. Uh, that, that stinks. That stinks royally bones right there. Oh well. Time to just go aggressively expand. Are we under? We cannot start any. What? Really? Oh my goodness! That means we're just gonna be sitting here for a very long time doing absolutely nothing. Basically, if you guys didn't really read that, it basically means the Regency. We can't start wars until a Regency Council is not at war. So that means we're basically gonna be sitting here for a very, very long time. All right. Maybe these guys. Uh, I've never improved their relationships before. Wait, we're not the same religion, so that won't work. Hmm. So, province, loan offer, send gifts, embargo. Maybe I can ask him to become... Uh... My religion, maybe? Would that work? Maybe not. Okay. Well, we'll just continue on then. I don't really care then. And Muscovy is completely gone from the game. Wow. I mean, not Muscovy. Novgorod is completely gone. Muscovy is actually saying pretty strong right now. So, but Novgorod, dang. All right. Oh my goodness, that's sad. That's just sad right there. Monopoly company formed. Yay. Or oh, did... Oh my goodness, I want the money. But this is gonna be good long term. Well... Yes, no, maybe so... Duckets... Duckets... It's... Sorry guys, it's just not... It's just not long enough of a boost to not... Already buy some more of these new, unique buildings. Massive farm estates. Oh... Or the, uh... Core creation costs on us. Diplomatic. Hmm. Where can I build this? Only in those provinces, really? Okay. No, then. I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna sit on my money for a little bit. That, that seems like the white. Nah. <laughs> I can't keep that with a straight face. Let's keep adding more. Keep building more. Keep building more. Keep building more local constables and stuff like that. Cause it's so much fun. Okay, there we go. All right. And how are we doing on the local trade? Trade nodes. We should be one of the most powerful people in almost every trade node we go to. 40% of the trade, that's good. Over here, we're directing about 7.36 to this trade node. I mean, comparatively, no one else is directing even a fraction of that much. We also should be a big shareholder of this trade node, too, because this is also one of our trade nodes. 
but mainly we're being beaten by Hassa. Which I would go to war with, but they are kind of protected by the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, not going to lose stability for that. But look at that. They're protected by the Holy Roman Empire. It kind of stinks. Kind of stinks. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I think this is a good episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.